Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Word from Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. My name is Jay Clark. I'm one of the pastors here. Well, this is uh, spring break week, and so I thought it would be fun. Uh, Dr. Robbins and I are with a group of pilgrims from our church uh, in uh, the Holy Land uh, in Israel this week, and so I thought maybe we would go there at, for, our, uh, for our daily devotional today. So let's go to Jerusalem. <laughs> you like how I did that? I didn't have anything to do with that. All right, today um, we're going to go to the Book of Common Prayer. Now, this is a Book of Common Prayer that was put out uh, about 10 years ago or so, but it's a liturgy for ordinary radicals. And uh, so I thought it would be interesting to, uh, it, a lot of people always ask, you know, a good daily devotional that they can read and start their day with. And this is one that I, that I did for a year because it's, um, it's got one for each day. So I thought I would use it this week to kind of base our time together um, on. So this is the uh, daily devotional for March 21st. And it talks about apartheid law. Uh, black South Af African men over the age of 16 were required to carry a pass card. Anyone found without a card by the police could be arrested. On March 21st, today, on March 21st, 1960, black South African men had planned to leave their pass cards at home, go to the police station, and ask to be arrested as an act of civil disobedience. When the men began their walk to the police station, officers opened fire killing 69 and injuring hundreds in what has been remembered as the Sharpeville Massacre. The liturgy goes like this, O oh Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The psalm for today is Psalm 106, verses 47 and 48. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed, to, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen and Hallelujah. Lord, help us to resist the madness of our age. You hear what that, that says there? Lord, help us to resist the madness of our age. One desert father, Abba Anthony, said, A time is coming when men will go mad, and when you see someone who is not mad, they will attack him, saying, You are mad. You are not like us. The prayer for today. Lord, we remember those who have given their lives for the sake of justice and freedom. Help us to not take our own freedom lightly, but to use it to advocate relentlessly for the freedom of others. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Have a great, great day. Amen.